All month long, WLFI and IU Health Arnett have teamed up to highlight October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In today's Wellness Wednesday segment, Dr. Noelle Wallace, an IU Health Arnett physician, joins us with more on the preventative side of breast cancer. Dr. Dirk Wallace, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. So talk a little bit about uh, who is at risk for breast cancer. Uh, basically, a woman that has high risk of breast cancer, especially over the age of 50, um, women who have family history of breast cancer, and for instance, um, a mom, a sister, uh, aunt that increases your risk of breast cancer. There are certain hereditary types of breast cancers, not very common, but if you were to have them or carry that gene, um, it's what is called, then your risk is significantly high, like up to 60% in your lifetime of having breast cancer. Um, history of irradiation to your chest, not very common, but if you were to have cancer of your lymph nodes and got radiation for treatment, those would, uh, probably the main things would increase your risk of breast cancer. Right, so how important are uh, self-breast exams, whether they be for women who have a hereditary um, you know, gene or, or commonality or, or just every regular, regular woman? Um, you know, there's been a little bit of controversy about it. Um, from the American College of OBGYN, um, they speak more about breast awareness. So if you notice changes in the appearance um, or the feel of your breast, they recommend seeing your doctor sooner outside of your yearly examination. Um, other than that, as far as the, we kind of emphasize more clinical breast exams depending on your age. So between 20 to 39, maybe uh, every year, every other, or every three years, after the age of 40, because the risk of breast cancer really starts to go up past that point, yearly clinical breast exams. So not so much self-breast exams at home, even though there's no problems with that. We usually tell patients once a month, a week after your menstrual cycle, but more being aware of the appearance, appeal of your breasts, and to call us if anything changes. And a big part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month is making sure that women schedule their mammograms. So mm -hmm. how important is getting a mammogram? Extremely important. It is our best screening test out there. Um, after the age of 40, they recommend uh, mammograms every year. Um, I know a few years ago, there were some issues with the United States Task Force saying, well, maybe you shouldn't start screening until after the age of 50 because maybe there's more false positives or people getting um, abnormal mammograms but coming back fine and doing unnecessary biopsies. But American Cancer Society, the American College of Obstetrician and Gynecologists, we all recommend mammograms at least every year depending on your family history, your risk factors after the age of 40. And anything else families might need to know, whether it be misconceptions about breast cancer or anything we might not have mentioned so far? Um, I think probably one of the most important things is coming to see us on a regular basis, yeah, getting your annual examination, so your clinical breast examination, pap smears, um, pelvic exams, or um, examinations of the internal organs, um, and then just, again, breast awareness, being conscious, being healthy, quit smoking, get drinking, diet and exercise, something we all need to do. All right, well, Dr. Noel Wallace from IU Health Arnett, we appreciate your time this morning. All right, thank you. For a full list of all our breast cancer-related stories, head to our website at WLFI.com and click on the Breast Cancer Awareness Month tab.